Hello again. So today will just be a continuation of the previous video. Of this time we're working with is with the enter button. Um, so what I'm showing you here, this is my keypad for my uh, home automation. So I want to like to start with this one. On the previous video, I did not have a cancel button, but I'll show you the reason on this one. On this video. So we're going to work with the enter button. So for all the buttons that we're going to be like the enter button and the te and the, um, and this one here is the text one. This is another text and this is another text. So what I'm using this one for is a header and this one's a header and then this one's going to display my my numbers on from my keypad. And then of course this one's my enter button. So for all these, these buttons here that we're going to be using, since we're going to be displaying information from another um, page, um, the vscope on these need to be set to global. And so all, if you look at all of these, these are all set to global. So we're going to go ahead and start with page one. So we're going to set up these, uh, we're going to do this one and I'm going to show you this one here. On this one, I have it, if I push the button, it'll go to my keypad so I can set a lux uh, setting uh, for the light setting for my home automation. Um, and it's going to display on right here, on this white part here for this number. So this box here, if you go to the toolbox, this one is on the toolbox. It's the number one. It's the one, two, three, uh, number one. And that's what this zero is. This zero could always be changed to a fixed number. If not, then it's always going to be zero. And to set that, um, it's right here on the attribute. The value is zero. You can always have it fixed. So. Um, um, these two as well, the number one and the uh, button one. Well, actually, the number one has to be set to global, not the button, because we're not setting anything um, or we're not receiving anything. And let me see if I can show you this part here. So when we push this button here, the set lux button here, um, for the command on this one, this first page, this first line is number pad, which is my keypad, uh, my number pad, dot VA0, the VA0 I'll show you in a little bit, dot value VAL equals one. And so we want to set that uh, the VAL equals to one. Um, I'll show you why in a little bit here as well. For the second line, it's number pad as well because that page name for the next page. T0, T0 is one of the headings um, text, one of the heading text dot. And so I want a text on there. So TXT equals open quotations Lux reading close quotations so it's going to display a heading on there and it's going to say Lux reading and the third line here is number pad dot t1 uh, t1 is text one on this line here this line I never did find um, this line I added on here um, as I looked into the web page for the Nexteon editor manual, it didn't have this line. So what it would do is constantly show um, whatever was displayed on the um, on the screen here. I'll give you an example on that too in a little bit here. But this one's a clear screen on the number pad. So it's numberpad.t1.txt equals t1.t1. 
TXT minus three. I say minus three because it's only going to display three characters on there. So in other words, it's just going to clear the screen before uh, before I go to the number pad. So it's a page and a number pad. So it's just going to change to the next page. So let's look at the um, enter button. Okay, so for the enter button, this one has an if statement. Okay, so on here it does say if, if, and then open bracket, VA0, variable zero, dot VAL value, and then if you notice here, this was hard to find out for, it took me a while to figure this one out. This one has, it looks like one equals, but in, in reality it's actually two. So VAL equals equals one, close bracket. And then the next line here is the squiggly bracket. And then this one was a little hard to find as well because on the user manual, it just had a page on there. And that's incorrect. It would not that won't work anymore. So it's uh, actually C O V space T one. So we're look T one is the text one from this page where the um, for my button here. Um, this is for the display uh, of the numbers. Dot T X T comma page one. Oh, uh, wait a minute, page one dot n zero. Uh, dot VAL comma zero. Let tag, do one text. So what we're doing here is we're converting whatever um, we're sending. We're sending the numbers uh, that we had entered into the display. Let's say if I enter three 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 and click enter, this will move over. Um, this will go to the um, the dual display on the end zero. So let's go ahead and have a look uh, here. And if you notice on this one, this one is equal to two. And so this one has two commands. I'll show you this one in a little bit. But let me just go ahead and, and show you what the enter button does. So I click my home button here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set Lux, which goes to my keypad. So three three three. Okay, it shows three 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 on there. I click enter. And it's gonna show three 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 on here. Okay, that's what this does. So let's say you wanna go back to changing it. So that's why I had entered the clear button on here. Um if you do not enter the clear button, this is what happens. This one's this one's uh we're gonna go to this one here. This one does not have the clear button. Uh, so let me enter 333 three, three on this one. Go back to it. And if you see here, the 333 three, three is still here. If you don't add that clear, um, what's the, the clear line there? So another thing too is uh, I wanted to show you is On my other video, I didn't have a cancel button. Um, what happens is if you don't answer, enter a cancel button, I say, eh, I, don't want, I don't want this anymore. And you don't enter a cancel button. This is what happens. So uh, say if you just leave it as an enter button. So you click enter, it clears it out. What if you didn't want to clear this out and you didn't really pay attention to this value? So... So it's going to be 333. 
Enter, it keeps 333. And then let's say 222, uh, cancel. It didn't change. So for that cancel button, um, So for that cancel button, it's just, um, actually we don't, um, I did it as an if VA zero equals the value one. Actually, let me see if I can just delete that. I don't think we need this. I think it just goes to the page. I don't think we need an if statement. Save as much as possible, memory as possible. Yeah, let's see, there it goes. 333, three, three, enter. Yeah, I had it as an if statement. I didn't. Now that I look at it, I really don't need it. Yeah, I didn't need it. So for the cancel button, it's just a page and page number. Um, I had it as an if statement, but start to notice that I really didn't need an if statement. I don't know why I added it on there. So for the cancel button, it's just page, page one. And then the enter button, um, it would be this line. So let's say you wanted to use this keypad for more than one pages or more than one uh, fields. This is my page one. So let's say you wanna add it to this field as well. We wanna add numbers to this field. So that can be done. And the way it's done is, let me show you here. So to add, um, to use the same number pad for a different field, it's really simple. Um, it's just copy from the previous uh, programming. And all you're doing is changing this to equal number two. And that's it. And so if you add another field, it'll be number three and then so forth. Um, and you can always change your reading here. If it's a Lux reading or something else, you can always change the text to it, to the number pad. Okay, I just noticed something I did. I do apologize. I didn't, um, I didn't um, explain here. The number pad dots VA zero dots of value for this um, button here. Let's go over the um, variable uh, number pad dot VA zeros variable dot value equals two. The variable, if we go back to the number pad, if you look at this line here, this is a variable. It's the VA zero, and if you look into the toolbox, you're gonna have to click the open bracket X close bracket variable. Okay, you'll need a variable to switch from page to page. So my this one here is a variable zero. And so that's where that statement comes from. It's this first line statement, the number pad VA zero dot value equals one. Because you need to add a variable to switch from page to page. And so that's it. Um, I think I've covered all my grounds here, make sure. Excellent. So you have a wonderful day and see you again.